Hey guys, welcome to Brutech tutorial and in the chapter 7 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we're going to look at test bed and component fixture. And objective of this video is to know what is a test bed and what is a component fixture. Well, a test bed is one of the main utilities for unit testing components, directives, services, pipes in Angular. It is Angular specific. The testbed creates a dynamically constructed test module that emulates an Angular at that engine module. It also provides method for creating components and services for our unit test cases. Now let's go and see how this looks like. Now whenever we are creating a component using the ng generate component CLI command, it generates four files: a CSS, HTML spec.ts and component.ts now out of these four files we are going to look at the spec file for looking at the test bed and in this case i am not going to create a new component as a basic component that is app component is created with the project that i have created angular test code so in this case we have a file called app component.spec.ts and its first line is importing a test bed so import test bed and it is importing the test bed from at the rate angular slash code slash testing so, so this is the model from which you have to import the test bed and there is some basic code generated for this app component dot spec dot ts5 now you can see in the before each a test bed is already created and it is written with a method configure testing module this method along with the test bed will help us to create a dummy module which can be used for unit testing our components so in this case you can see there is a imports which is importing router testing module and we also have declarations which will be declaring the app component we have provided us at this moment i have not added any services to it in future videos will add services and see how these are used and at the end there is another method compile components the compile components will help us to compile the classes along with their templates so it will compile the class and the html and the css present with the given component so test bed in this case will help us to create a basic structure of our ng module and also compile the component so it will look like it is actually running a component in the browser so testbed in this case help us not only to create a basic structure but also to emulate the execution in the browser now along with the before each which configures the testbed for us we have two test cases the unit test cases that will help us to create the app and the title of that particular component now in this case we have testbed dot create component and in the in the brackets it is included app component so the create components method will return a fixture a fixture or a component fixture is the combination of the class and the template using the component picture we can check whether the class is updated whether the template or that is the html is updated whether there are changes in between so we can unit test the one way or two way binding using the fixture and it can be created using testbed dot create component and here you can see fixture dot debug element dot component instance so it is going to return us the instance of our component class and we are going to assert or we are going to expect that app to be truthy that means the app is created then the second test case is checking should have as title rudratech 2014 so it is going to expect uh, our component is having uh, the title variable which should have the title as rudratech 2014 now in this case we are again going to create the fixture using the create component and 
fixture.debugelement.component instance is going to return us the instance of our component and in this case we are going to expect app.title so in this case we are directly accessing a property of our class unit test it and check whether its value is equal to the given value in the tweak so now let's go and save this and execute these two I'm going to run the ng test as I had not executed it earlier. So here both of our unit test cases for app component are executed successfully. It should have as title Rubrotech 2014 and should create the app. So this is how you can create a test bed and use the and use it for emulating the behavior of ng module and it also provides us more methods that we will be seeing in future videos that will help us to easily test our components pipes directive services and also we understood the component fixture which is a combination of our html and the component class which will help us to easily test the properties and the html elements of a component We'll be seeing these in more detail in future videos. Thank you.